Hi everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I thought I would give you a bit of an update on how my second book is doing, on how my revision is going, and talk a little bit about taking care of yourself as a writer, taking care of your health as a writer. Because my update is, if you <laughs> watched my previous video, you know I am on deadline for my second book. I completed the first draft in early April, like the end of March, and I turned it in. I got an edit letter from my editor at my publisher, and I was given a deadline for revising the book and then turning it back in. And last I did my video, I was very enthusiastic and like on track and I was working on it. And a lot has changed since I made that video. Um, this is giving you a glimpse into the real, real deal process of being a traditionally published author, of being an author, and some of the things that might come up. And also, you know, a preview of what I'm going to talk about. Also, why having an amazing agent is very, very important. But the overarching message I want to give you is please take care of yourselves, guys. So, it is June 2nd. My deadline was technically. Okay, so my original deadline was May 15. I knew I wasn't going to make that. I covered that in my original video. And then my agent got me an extension for May 29th. And it is June 2nd. I have not turned in my book yet. So I got another extension. And let me tell you, so it's really important as you're working on your book, whether it's drafting or it's revising, to understand your limits and what is realistic in terms of what you can deliver. You shouldn't ever run yourself too ragged to turn in a book and finish a project. I know that plenty of authors do, and sometimes it is true. A deadline is a deadline and you have to meet your obligations, but sometimes it's simply not possible. So I have my agent and my agent is an amazing human being. She advocates for me. That is her job. So she talked to my editor about not the first deadline not working out because my book was coming out and so on and getting the second one. So I was working toward that and it was going well, but then I started feeling I don't know, I, I was having trouble concentrating and the work, nothing was going as fast as I wanted it to go. And typically I am a very efficient reviser. I can revise very fast. I revised Brightly Burning, a pretty, I'd say like a moderate revision, like major in terms of the changes it made, but moderate in terms of the amount of work. I managed that in 10 days flat and then I sold my book. So what I needed to do for this, I was like, I think I can achieve this in three weeks, sure. But I was having trouble concentrating and it was just going slower than I expected, but it was going very well. I was very happy with the updates I had been making, the changes. I did a ton of rewriting, but I knew the book was heading in a really good direction. But then realistically, because I also have my day job and there's a lot going on at my day job, I realized a week before the deadline, oh no, there's just no way I can make this. <sighs> deep breaths, cue panicking. So I talked to my agent. I had the come to Jesus talk with my agent of like, I just don't think I can do this. I feel bad that I can't do this. Is my publisher going to hate me? All the feelings that you have. No, your publisher is not going to hate you. And my beautiful, wonderful agent was like, it's fine. I'm going to take care of it. So she talked to my editor. She was like, here's what's going on. Point is, I got, an, I got another extension. Amazing. My publisher is so wonderful and understanding. They understand how much is going on and how much I'm juggling. And at that point it was just, oh, she's really busy. There's a lot going on. And then I got closer to the weekend, still working on the book every day. And this is when really the con my concentration started being like really shot. And I was feeling just tired all day, every day. But of course I was because I was dealing with a lot of things. Like to give you an idea, we had a launch happen at my day job last week. The biggest launch in like four years. Like everything is happening all at once for me. Um, but I was just over the Memorial Day weekend, I was extra lethargic, extra having trouble concentrating. And, you know, I would sit down to work on the book and I would, it was just so hard to get anything done. And then the Monday of Memorial Day, it was like my brain was just fried. And then Tuesday I went to work 
and my brain is fried and I'm tired and I I also was like walking places and getting short of breath and then Wednesday I basically had a health breakdown so this is <laughs> this is the point and I am generally not this person that this happens to I'm kind of one of those health stoics and I just troop through things so of course I web indeed this and over the weekend I was convinced I had a number of ailments and I was googling things I was like oh god I have to go to the doctor but there's no time to go to the doctor because I'm on deadline and I'm so busy what if I have a serious health problem like a disease everything went through my mind because I knew that something was wrong with me but I was like you're gonna push through you have a deadline you have to do this and I basically had a health breakdown on Wednesday at work at my day job on like the most important of important days all of a sudden my symptoms escalated and I got a headache that was I was like I don't get headaches what is wrong headache so I had a headache I was dizzy I was unable to concentrate I was short of breath my temperature was fluctuating and it turns out these are all symptoms of severe anemia <laughs> um, as, as I, again I didn't go to the doctor but I, I looked at the list I was like oh god I am severely anemic I've had problems with this in the past but it had been many many years and it just didn't flick the switch didn't flick for me the point is I was so sick on Wednesday I had to leave work early and that is not something I ever ever do and I did take care of myself I knew what to do I ate a I basically consumed a lot of iron, I doubled up on vitamins, and I have an appointment to see my doctor. And also, most importantly, at that point it had been 48 hours since I had touched my book and I realized how sick I was and I went, you are not well enough to work on your revision this week. All you need to do this week is concentrate on getting better, on fixing your body which you have broken, I broke myself, so that when you get back to this revision, you can actually get back to this revision in better health. And so that's what I have been doing since Wednesday. It is now Saturday. I actually think today I'm well enough to get back into the book. I'm going to do ease in. I'm going to work from home today, but tomorrow I hope to be back on my coffee shop routine. And so that's my, that's my update. I broke my body. <laughs> Worse than I ever have in my life. It was all the stress and all the work and other health related things. I'm not going to tell you all my health stuff, but like, I, I know what happened. Uh, did I mention that on top of this, I have been having chronic nosebleeds since April? I have not been well. Um, this whole time of like finishing my book and my book coming out, I have been pushing myself really, really hard to get everything done and make everyone happy and do all the things that I know I have to do. And I basically finally broke myself. So what I'm saying to you is take care of yourselves, please. No deadline, nothing is worth hurting yourself and harming yourself and neglecting your health. I did it and I really wish I hadn't. If I had taken a deep breath and stopped and thought about this two weeks ago, I would have never gotten as bad as I got on Wednesday. I was really scared. I'm calling my mom, like, I'm, I'm broken, what should I do? Um, but I feel much better now. And I have to accept the reality that this revision is going to take way longer than I thought it was going to because for the first time I am revising under conditions where my body, my health is not at 100% as it usually is. I am basically batting at 50. I'm really bad at sports metaphors, but you know what I mean. And I'm having to accept kind of the new realities and challenges of, you know, achieving my writing and doing what I need to do under a whole new set of circumstances. So that's where I am with my revision. Please take care of yourself. Look for the signs when you're starting to wane. I had all the signs. I ignored them. I thought it was fine because I've never gotten this bad before. Um, and honestly, I'm really glad that I had that talk with my agent before my crash. My crash happened to come a week after I'd already had the conversation. I'm trying to imagine if I hadn't had that conversation because my crash, if you it came the day after what my deadline was. Whew, I honestly probably would have ended up in the emergency room if I had it <laughs> basically said, oh, I'm not gonna make this deadline. So yeah, that's where I am. Thank you for watching. If you're watching this, if you're a writer, if you also have, you know, 
health ailments, chronic illness, anything of that nature. This isn't a chronic illness for me. It's just something that I know that happens to me. But so many writers do have chronic illness and you probably already know this, but seriously, take care of yourself. Nothing is worth damaging your health and hurting yourself and putting yourself in a dangerous position. So <sighs> I'm getting better every day. I still really want to finish this book. <laughs> And I'm trying not to beat myself up for not achieving, kind of hitting the benchmarks that I'm used to achieving, you know, kind of taking a deep breath and going easy on myself. So thanks for watching. Yeah, I hope my next update is a lot more positive. Um, yeah, as always, guys, happy writing and take care of yourself.